Hi, I'm Gwen Perkins, and I am the proud area superintendent of the Ryan Zone, more affectionately known as the home of the champions. I have the honor and the privilege of working alongside some of the most gifted and talented individuals whose conviction it is to serve our students each and every day. And with that, I'm proud to introduce you to this year's Ryan Zone Teachers of the Year. From Jennings Elementary, Cindy Blanco is completing her 14th year in the district and her 10th year as a first grade dual language teacher at Jennings Elementary. An immigrant with a passion for learning, Ms. Blanco is right at home in her dual language classroom. When she was nine years old, her family moved to the United States and did not speak English. By the time she was 14, she was placed in a bilingual teacher program at Texas Women's University working with professors and students. Today, her focus is on creating a classroom atmosphere for all of her students to become future leaders. Ayako Kobayashi is in her sixth year at Hodge Elementary as a dual language teacher. Mrs. Kobayashi learned English as her second language, just like the students in her classroom. So she understands how important it is for her students to feel safe and accepted. Her non-negotiables for students to reach their goals are to create a safe learning environment, teach engaging lessons, and for herself to be a lifelong learner. Stacy Eby is in her fifth year in Denton ISD. She spent all five of those years as a kindergarten teacher at Pecan Creek Elementary. As a young child, Miss Eby had a passion for teaching. She worked in a daycare and as a lifeguard in her late teens and early 20s. After nearly a decade spent in corporate America and running her own business, watching her son walk through the doors at Pecan Creek as a kindergartner changed everything. She felt the passion for that campus and knew that one day she would be teaching kindergarten there herself. Sarah Bryant is completing her first year as a second grade teacher at Rivera Elementary, but she's in her 12th year working at the school. She believes it is the diversity at Rivera that makes the school special. She's taught students who come from four different continents, which helps her learn about the different cultures and traditions of the students she serves each and every day. She believes teaching is an art and she loves everything about elementary education and strives to make learning fun for her students. Kate McPherson is completing her fifth year as a third grade teacher at Schultz Elementary. Ms. McPherson feels that as a teacher, having belief in her students can transform their lives. She views teaching like a puzzle and believes her strength in data analysis allows her to emphasize the most critical skills to lay a strong foundation of learning with each student in her class. Laura Kennard is in her 23rd year teaching music and her 14th year as a music teacher at Stevens Elementary. Her life as a music teacher was turned upside down in the spring of 2020. Platforms like Seesaw, Google Slides, iMovie, and even Zoom were virtually non-existent to many music teachers before the pandemic. She learned from that experience the importance of fine arts and the need to allow students a judgment-free place to feel safe expressing themselves. Tamara McCoy is in her seventh year as a special education resource teacher at Myers Middle School. She's been a teacher for the past 19 years. When you walk into Ms. McCoy's room, you can't help but notice the sign hanging outside the door. It reads, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Over the years, she's learned the importance of discerning the bad or off days and showing grace and understanding when her students need it most. Manny Ordonis is homegrown in Denton ISD. He attended grades K through 12 in the district before attending college at UT Austin. He spent the past nine years as an ESL and dual language teacher at Strickland Middle School. He believes that teaching and the act of service go hand in hand. He learned what serving others look like daily from his parents who were immigrants from Guatemala. In addition to his classroom duties, Mr. Adonis serves as a volunteer with the GOAL program, Guys and Girls Operating as Leaders. 
He's the history department chair at Strickland and is a member of the Association for Texas Professional Educators. Nina Shantana Puma is in her fourth year in Denton ISD teaching visual arts at the Lagrone Academy. Ms. Shantana Puma took a unique route to the classroom, having spent many years managing projects and supporting customers while working in the technology field for 15 years. She calls it the big detour that took her into teaching. The transition to the classroom has allowed her to see students as team members who provide valuable input. She feels it is an honor to represent the Lagrone Academy as many of the teachers on that campus prove there is no template in life as they all blaze their trails to success. Rodney Hess is in his seventh year teaching Honors World Geography and AP U.S. History at Ryan High School, and he is in his 26th year in education. Mr. Hess is known for making learning come to life in his classroom. His students will tell you that he makes each day in geography like an adventure as they explore the world. One peek at his room and you would see why. Designed to look like an expedition post, Mr. Hess often dresses the part for their next adventure. His students become immersed in the world during his class period, but for Mr. Hess, he simply wants them to know how much he cares about them. Let me say thank you. Thank you for the work that you do each and every day, serving our students, and more importantly, changing and saving their lives each and every day. In the past two years, never has teaching been more difficult in our nation, in our state, and in our public education system. So thank you for the work that you do. Don't ever give up. Keep doing and fighting the good fight. Congratulations to our Ryan's Own Teachers of the Year.